Welcome back to Bar Fitness TV podcast. If you're listening, if you're watching, welcome back. Um, and this podcast or YouTube channel, I created to document my fitness journey. And many of you know by now, my fitness journey consists of E2M. And one of the great privileges of being part of E2M is meeting awesome people. And so that gives me the privilege to interview awesome people. And so with that being said, I have on none other than my sister, Crystal. How are you doing today? What's going on, Dwayne? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Uh, like I told great. you, just finished the workout and, you know, running and gunning. And I appreciate you taking time to come out on my show. Uh, we already got people jumping in the comment section on Facebook. Um, but I always love to start off. And uh, and actually, we, we actually got a chance to watch you on YouTube to hear your story. But I want right. you to just kind of go through that again. Um, you know, take your time. The great thing about podcasting and YouTube is, you know, we're not on the time limit. Just take your time and walk through just your fitness journey. And I always like to tell people to, to tell your fitness journey before E2M. All right. So um, I think my fitness journey after I turned around 19, um, I started picking up weight. Uh, I had my son. I have one son, so he's 22 now. Thank you, Lord. Um, <laughs> but yes, he is grown and out the house. Yeah. Um, but I started picking up weight then. So after um, I started noticing that I was picking up weight, I decided that, hey, let me try just going to the gym sporadically. So I would, mm -hmm. I would go to the gym, but I never would incorporate eating right because every weekend I was out with my friends we were mm -hmm. eating we were having beverages doing what we wanted to do just having a good time and before you know it um, I had always been 99 pounds between 99 pounds and 105 pounds prior to my son so after I had my son I was weighing in around 120 121 um, and then you before you know it those pounds literally creeped up and everyone that had been around me all my life, all they knew is, you know, I didn't look different to them because they've always been around me. Mm -hmm. Before you knew it, I got up to around 183, 84 pounds. So um, when the whole keto diet came out, um, I, I definitely went hard in the paint with keto. Mm -hmm. I, I stuck to it and I got down to 160 pounds. And I spent, I don't even know how much money on recipes, on um, or time trying to prepare my food um, mm -hmm. and eventually it just affected my health my cholesterol started going up um, I had been on blood pressure pill pills since I had been 18 years old wow. and yep since 18 it started off with one pill then they added on a diuretic um, to help because the blood pressure pill wasn't bringing it down then they switched my medicine. And before you know it, the last my last visit before E2M, my doctor told me that, hey, if we can't get your blood pressure down, we, we're going to have to add in. We're going to have to, one, bring up your milligram because they were inching my milligrams up anyway over the years. We'll mm -hmm. have to bring it up some more and add a third pill. Mm -hmm. I thought, third pill? Absolutely wow. not. Um, as far as the cholesterol pill, he said, I'm going to give you, he gave me a whole sheet of what not to eat, stay away from eggs, stay away from um, saturated fats, things of that nature. And I came back to this very table that I'm sitting at today and I, I, I cried, I bawled. I'm like, wow. you know what? I am way too young for this. I have a son that hasn't had children yet. He hasn't finished college yet. I want to see all of these things. Um, and if I, get, I felt like if I got on this type of medicine, it was going to harden my veins. It was going to, you know, do different things. And what I learned from day one, when my doctor told me about high blood pressure, he said, your, your blood pressure is like a balloon. So, well, your heart is like a balloon. So every time that your blood pressure rises, it inflates. And, mm. and the more that it inflates, eventually it gets weary, it wears and it explodes. That's wow. a heart attack. Oh, wow. And it all resonated with me and it actually 
brought me to E2M. Um, I, I never, you know, I, I didn't see it on Facebook or anywhere. I never forget. It was New Year's Eve and my girlfriend, she had just posted a picture, but her picture stayed in my mind. I'm like, goodness gracious, Shatima looks amazing. What right. in the world? We graduated the same year. We cheered all through middle school and high school together. I'm like, what in the world is this girl doing? And I knew she had a busy life because she's a physician. So I'm mm. like, and she has a son. So I'm like, what in the world? I reached out to her and that was the best decision that I had ever made for me. Um, no one coerced me. No one said, hey, if you do this, I'm going to give you this amount of money or blah, blah, blah. It was none of that. I had to do that for me. So I reached out to Shatima and she said, I'm doing this program called E2M. And the, how she was so excited about telling me about the program without giving me too much information. Um, I'm that person now. Like, I'm excited. I could have yeah. a whole conversation about the goodness of E2M. So she told me the next signups would, would be starting on January 11th of 2021. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know what? I'm in. I never forget it. That New Year's Eve, I was in Maryland at my sister's house and my sister, we you know, we love up on each other by having good eats, drinks, you know, especially right. around the holiday time. Right. And the whole time I'm moving around to get up to walk to the refrigerator, I'm sweating because I was overweight, like seriously. Wow. I, like, I got to do something about this. So I signed up and Dwayne, it's been all up from there. Wow. That's an amazing story. Um, I never heard the, um, the, the balloon uh, example for blood pressure. And I'm sure that that really hit you to the core. Uh, just to think about like that could be next step, you know, if you didn't change. Um, so I, I appreciate you sharing that. All right. So now you discovered this wonderful land of E2M um, and uh, talk about that first round. Like how was that experience, the detox, just getting into the program? Talk about just the, the, the where you were mentally when that when you started. So Dwayne, when mentally I've always been the type of person, if I put my mind on something, I'm going to do it. Yep. I, I'm, I'm a self-motivator. I'm a self-starter. So I don't need to be, I, I've always been a leader. My, my occupation, I lead. I'm a, you know, I, I manage. That's what I do. So mm -hmm. for me, when I first joined the program, I was fortunate because I didn't go through detox bad. Not, mm -hmm. in, not in my first round, okay? It's like my body is so weird because my body will hit a detox like later on. I'm like, what is going on with me? So I didn't go through it terribly. I, I may have, but I wasn't in tune with my body. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's why I say later on, if I have, because we all have times where we may go a little extra on the weekend on your cheat meal, on your For one sure. cheat meal, we go a little <laughs> bit harder. And as I learned my body more um, yeah. through E2M, listening to Coach Jeff, listening to Alicia, Whit, Mandy, listening to Jamie, listening to all the coaches, Brad, um, saying what these foods do to your body. Mm -hmm. um, I started noticing that was my detox. So my mm -hmm. first round, I came in and I literally came in strong. The, the workouts were hard. I did not miss a workout. I did the bare minimum. Um, and when I say bare minimum, I did exactly what the program said. I did my circuits. I did my, um, I did my, the meal plans. I originally started off meal prepping. I would meal prep my food on Sundays and then I would have it for the week. I found the goodness of a vacuum sealer and I'm like, <laughs> Oh, is this what a vacuum sealer does? Right. So, I meal prep my food. I did my circuits. I did my cardio in the increments of how the 20 minutes to 30 minutes and, you know, so on. Mm -hmm. um, just like Jeff put out there on the plan. And I ended up, I think my first round, I ended up losing 24 or 27 nice. pounds my first round, which I was happy because I had never lost that much weight. In right. Weeks. Never. Right. So um, I tuned in to Jeff every night at eight o'clock any lives that I would get notifications because Facebook gives you the option mm -hmm. to um, notify me when someone goes live. And then I started connecting myself or attaching myself without people even knowing. I attached myself to people that were before you successful. go there. Before you go there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's 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 my next question. Don't don't okay. don't jump ahead. <laughs> 
But no, I wanted to touch on something before we get into the relational side, because I always love to cover that because I, I know that that's a, a pivotal part of the program. But you brought up um, something that I had. I was like, let me cross my fingers. I want to remember this. You brought up something really unique. When you talked about your first round, how you did not know you were going through detox because you didn't know your body. Like a lot of people don't realize that because you you feel so terrible for so long, you just still feeling terrible. Like you're detoxing, Say that, but it's brother. like I've been mm-hmm. I've been terrible the whole time. So you didn't know what healthy felt like in order to know that you were sick or didn't feel right. Agreed, Dwayne. I'm telling you, like I said, I had blood pressure. So I literally had a headache every day of my life. Like it will come in one side of my temple. So when I saw people in the group talking about a headache with detox, I'm thinking, I have a headache every day anyway. (laughs) This is nothing different. Um, Being sluggish, I was tired every day. Like literally, unless I had plans, my, my, my schedule was the same. On Friday evenings when I got off, I went and got me some fast food. I came home, I showered, I put a, a, a load of laundry in the wash. And I would sometimes go in my bed and sit down and eat. (laughs) I have to laugh at myself now. And then I was what you call a sleep eater. Like Mm. some people sleep walk. I I used to sleep eat. Meaning I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would have Snickers wrappers in my bed (laughs) because I was a sweet fanatic. I can tell this story now because I'm past that stage and I will never go back. (laughs) I used to like, literally I could eat, I could buy a dozen of donuts Mm. and I could eat that within a day, like literally between Friday evening and by Saturday night, I'm thinking, what's the next thing to eat? That was my, (laughs) what I looked forward to, what my next meal was going to be. Yeah, no. So (laughs) yeah, Dwayne, I'm telling you, it was, it was the worst. So (laughs) detox, like, I don't know if I, I probably did as unhealthy as I was. Yeah, but I couldn't recognize, recognize it because yeah. I was already sluggish. I was sure. already having headaches. My body was uh, aching in different spots. You know, um, so, I could eat certain foods and I get uh, acid reflux. So, right, I right. know. <laughs> I got you. So I immediately in my mind went to Nutty Professor, Professor Clump, you know, on the couch, <laughs> sleep with like snacks all over him. Like I immediately went there in my mind. So that she is, is me. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Confession is good for the soul, so you're good. It is. <laughs> All right. Now so that that's away, in, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. So you was getting into a part that is super, super important when it comes to E2M, the relationship side, connecting. So talk about that experience, because a lot of people that may be listening or watching may be outside of E2M, and they don't, you know, they don't connect with people or it's not something they normally do. Talk about that experience and the feedback and then the relationships that you built. So um, get start when I started E2M, I really, I had to change my focus, meaning normally I was on my personal page on Facebook, scrolling until Mm -hmm. 11, 12 o'clock at night, not getting my proper rest and things of that nature. So as I start getting more in depth with E2M, that focus shifted to the E2M page. Mm -hmm. And it it literally came in cycles for me. So I start putting pieces together from round one, you know, even the first four weeks of round one to the first, the second four weeks of round one and so on. But I started looking at who posted every day. Um, I think when I first started, I may not have posted every day. I think I started posting the first couple of days and I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't get a whole lot of likes. So I'm like, well, why am I even, you know, I thought, why am I even posting? And Mm. then as soon as I think something in my mind, Jeff Spoon, when I tell you (laughs) he has antennas or something, because it's like, even to this day, some of me and my girlfriends be like, it's Jeff in our inbox because he will speak on literally things that we talk about or I think. So um, I'm like, why am I even doing this? But what I also noticed is some of those days that I didn't feel like working out, I would scroll and I would see people like Eddie Richardson. And I'm like, man, this brother is doing it. You know, he is really living the life. He looks happy. Um, then I, I'm going to tell you one of the women that stood out to me, Shauna Gomes. When I saw her body and then Jeff, I don't even remember which round it was, but he did a, a live with her 
Um, mm -hmm. He brought her into the live. And when she told her story, I was intrigued. Mm -hmm. I was, then I went to look her up and I started seeing all of her pictures. So before Shauna even met me, I had fallen in love with her. I had, mm -hmm. she had become my accountability partner and she didn't even know it. So right. I, I looked for her post, Eddie, um, since day one, he would be one of the four lights that I had. Like yep. he literally opened arms. So, and then from there, it, um, I don't Shout know. Out to Eddie, he's watching this live in. right now. He's commenting. I just want to throw that out there. What's going on, Eddie? <laughs> That's my brother. I haven't, we're both in Virginia and I haven't met him yet, but wow. I feel like I know him. I feel like my brother For has sure. my back through my sure. front back and side to side. For sure. Yep. That's amazing. So, um, but it, it's just, you know, and then um, people that came on in my round, like Kimrick and Jaina and, um, you know, just seeing how they started embracing the program and starting to go bro, go hard. And Dwayne, to tell you, I don't even know where, because I have a huge tribe. I mean, I have so many people that I talk to daily or people that may reach out to me or some people that... We have really become, sure enough, friends. Like my plan and my goal is to travel the world to meet all of my people because I love to travel anyway. Yes. So this just fits into what I want to do. It gives me a reason. And then I meet great people yep. along the way. So I have fallen in love with so many people more that I have not met than I have even met, you know, right. and I've met quite a few of them already. So right. it's just been great, Dwayne. It's been great. I love it. And I, I never, it. I personally never had a um, Shatima, my first round. Shatima was my person. I had questions because it did not make, like certain things didn't make sense to me yep. or how am I supposed to do this or how am I supposed yep. to do that? So she was able to act the bare minimum. Um, I wasn't a person that went to the coach's team bo um, mm -hmm. inbox for the small things. I right. did lean onto her without me even knowing that she mm -hmm. was my accountability partner. She was actually, she had a little small group um, that she was an administrator of like through Facebook chat. And she put me into that group. And when she mm -hmm. put me into that group, like we talked every day, we did mm -hmm. our workout um, selfies or just encouraged one another yeah. or talked about how a workout kicked our butt. So mm -hmm. that helped me along, like that helped me my whole first round. Um, it was Shatima, man, Deandra, um, oh my God, uh, Carrie Ray, uh, so many people in that particular group that just welcome, welcome me. They didn't know me from anything and right. they were all very helpful. Right. So thank yeah, you no, to you all. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all those folks. No, that's, yes. that's beautiful because I mean, that's, that's what it's all about connecting um people that care you know coach said almost every night if you need someone there's so many people that's available that would love to help love to uh you know be that person like you said um you know i myself i manage a few inboxes so i know exactly uh, what you mean and and, and just being able to Dwayne, yes charge it to my mind or What's yeah up? charge it to my mind and not my heart because you are you're another person that when i first started um, and I think you may have, what round is this for you? Uh, so my, my year will be next month. So this is okay. round six. So you started a little bit after me, cause I started in January. So you yep. started with in Felicia May. in May. Mm -hmm. And by that time, even when you came in, so it's not just about the old people, the old group that's in there. Because hey, you're going to stop calling Mr. Eddie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, that wasn't me. That was Dwayne. <laughs> that was Dwayne. <laughs> but the OGs, you know what I mean? Yes. It's not so it's not all about them because each round there is a new G that yep. comes in, an NG that comes in. And they literally, for some reason, I just fall in love with them. Like literally, like Dwayne, when you first came in, your energy through your post, I was like, man, he's dope. You know, he's like real dope. Um, <laughs> that, that's how I felt when you first came in. I'm like, um, so different people that I saw. And then like Felicia, she came in after me. Her year is about to start. Felicia Tisdale Walker. Walker yep. Tisdale. I would say her name backwards. But when she came in, the NGs really got me to the level that I am yep. today. OGs yep. gave me 
the willpower that I can do it. They gave me the, you know, the push that I can do it. Right. The NGs is what keeps me pushing every day. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. Totally agree. Uh, <laughs> You, like you said, the new people bring that new energy and that, you they know, do. that, that, you know, some, something new. So that, that is super dope. And um, I appreciate you sharing. This has been really fun. And um, I always like to end the show the same way, give you an opportunity to address someone that may be listening or watching that's thinking about E2M because actually sign up start uh, on the 28th of this month. Oh, so 20th, what would be right, your yeah. message to someone that's on the fence about joining the program? Listen, do not let time pass you by. That's one of these things in life that you could never get back. It's time. So once it's gone, it's gone. Don't let another eight weeks pass you by. This is by far the best program that I know about um, in history. Like even things that people tell me that they're doing, it's like, you're working harder and not smarter. <laughs> like seriously, you know, oh, and yeah. I, I tell them about the goodness of E2M. So, and everyone that has spoken with me, they see my journey and they have joined, they have been 110% satisfied. Mm -hmm. Even if they fall off a little bit, they come mm -hmm. right back. This yep. program saved my life, allow it to help you save your life. So don't let April 28th pass by and you have to wait another eight weeks because we over here, we getting, we getting, um, abs, we getting glutes, all we that. getting all of that stuff popping. So just don't let another day pass you by living unhealthy. And most of all, find your reason why, if you say that you love your children, if you say that you love your husband, your parents, your grandparents, whomever it is, if you love you, do it for you, most mm. of all. So if you want to live, join E2M because that's where it's at. That's <laughs> right. Live a good life. That's right. That's right. That's right. I love it. Yep. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for your time. A lot of kudos in the uh, on the Facebook Live. A whole bunch of friends. You have to go back and check out those comments. Um, oh my goodness, y'all don't make me cry tonight, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all don't make me do it because I'll do it. Dwayne, thank you for your time. Thank you for considering me for this. Um, I didn't even for the longest time. I've seen so many people do podcasts or they go live or and um, it's an amazing thing to see to know that other people see my hard work and it's motivating other people. So Dwayne, for you having that good eye, I appreciate you, brother. Much yeah, love. No doubt. no doubt. No doubt. Good stuff. Yes. We definitely see hard work and definitely uh, want to, you know, make sure we, we cheer you on and, and let you know you appreciate it. All right. To the folks at the bar fitness podcast or TV, um, as we end the show every week, man, remember first Timothy four, eight, Hey, physical fitness is great but we also got to remember our spiritual body. So y'all have a blessed one. Peace. It's just different.